will just provide the plants with only one macronutrient. Maybe it is a nitrogen. So if it's, if this fertilizer is going to supply our plants with the nitrogen, we shall call it nitrogenous fertilizer. So we have a nitrogenous fertilizers, we have phosphatic fertilizers, and we have potassium fertilizers. Uh, let me move ahead and look at the phosphatic fertilizers. Remember, a phosphatic fertilizer is a straight fertilizer. So we have a phosphatic fertilizers. And we are saying this, this phosphatic fertilizer will provide our plants with only one macronutrient. Remembering that a macronutrient is also known as a major nutrient. That is, it is required by plants in large amounts. So, these phosphatic fertilizers will provide the plants with the phosphorus. And we have uh, different examples of phosphatic fertilizers. Uh, we have what we call the single super phosphate. Single super phosphate. Then we have what we call the double super phosphate. And then the other one we have uh, is a triple super phosphate. And then we have a bone meal. Bone meal. These are examples of phosphatic fertilizers. They will provide our plants with only phosphorus. Remembering that, bearing in mind that uh, uh, when you talk of uh, one macronutrient, it is that one that is required by plants in a large amount. So these are the examples of Phosphatic fertilizers. And phosphatic fertilizers fall under the straight fertilizer. That is, they only provide the plants with only one macronutrient. Then the other one that we have, the other example of a straight fertilizer that we have is uh, the nitrogenous fertilizers. Nitrogenous fertilizers. In this case, these ones provide the plants with only nitrogen. Only nitrogen. And a good example is a uh, uh, sulfate of ammonium. Sulfate of ammonium. Sulfate of ammonium is shortened like this. SA. Sulfate of ammonium. And then we have uh, urea. We have another one that we call urea. And uh, this is not urea that we talk about uh, in, uh, during excretion. This one is different. Urea. It is a fertilizer. We have sodium nitrate. We have sodium nitrate. Then we have calcium ammonium nitrate. Uh, we shorten it as CAL. That is calcium ammonium nitrate. And then we have blood meal. Blood meal. Blood meal. Uh, and then lastly, we have ammonium sulfate nitrate. Ammonium sulfate nitrate. Those are examples of the nitrogenous fertilizers. So remember, these nitrogenous fertilizers only supply our plants with only nitrogen. And then uh, the other one that I want us to talk about is what you call the potassium fertilizers uh, from uh, potassium. We have the potassium fertilizers. They normally provide the plants with the potassium. I will only have two examples. That is a uh, uh, potassium murate. Potassium murate. Potassium murate, and then the other one is a uh, potassium sulfate. Potassium sulfate. Potassium sulfate. These are the two examples of the potassium fertilizers. Uh, I hope you have understood our lesson. And remember, we are talking about the artificial or the inorganic fertilizers. Remember, you are saying these ones are normally made in the factories using 